Hello, my name is Ben Ball, the publisher of Penguin. I've got Peter Carey here today to talk about his new novel, Parrot and Olivia in America. Welcome, Peter. Thanks, Ben. Very nice to have you here. Nice to be here. It's based uh, broadly and loosely on the travels of Alexis de Tocqueville, and I thought we'd start there. What, um, what was it about de Tocqueville and his travels that appealed to you? Well, I live in the United States these days. I've lived in New York for about 20 years, and I'm living in a moment of tremendous political upheaval. And it was very interesting to stumble across this French aristocrat from the early 19th century saying all these things that are really pressing. You can read In Democracy in America, you can read Democracy in America and imagine Sarah Palin, or you can read Democracy in America and, and, and see the great crap culture uh, that America and the rest of the world uh, now lives in. And this was really, really interesting to me because he was a sort of, he's an aristocrat mm. and he's a bit of a snob and you're not, not likely to like him really, but he was saying all these really smart things. And I started to think about a book which would have somebody like this and somebody who, who had the other point of view and came from a different class. And I start to imagine this character, this English cheapy, cheeky, chappy parrot, uh, and who would end up being a sort of a spy and a protector for the aristocrat, and who together would form a sort of a really weird and a sort of friendship that I think Parrot says later has never happened in the history of the world before. So um, it's an unlikely friendship and a sort of a love story, although I have to keep on telling people there are sort of other love stories going on here and uh, that this is a hot book. This is a book about America, which isn't the sort of way I think Americans would look at it. So it's got a really outsider mm. sort of view. So I think that's an, it's sort of an Australian... The, well, I'm an Australian and I wrote it and I, and I maybe... A South African could write it or something, but it, it's a sort of an outsider's yeah. view of this. And then very, very liberating and giddy to realise that you could do this. But aided and given confidence by this French aristocrat from the 19th century who had these insights which made a lot of sense to me and which I could feel some weird mm. at once be repelled by and fascinated with and agree with, all mm. sorts of mm. But I also think that when you find a voice that suits a character and you are dealing with passionate things and not just, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, love affairs and money, and, well, the voice will carry the energy and mm. encourage the energy. Yes, I enjoyed it and I think I did enjoy it mostly and when the language and when it has an intensity and when there's room to to invent and when there's room to sort of walk out beyond what you know uh, it's really 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 thrilling and um, it was often like that peter thank you very much for those fascinating insights into your novel i can't recommend it to you highly enough and uh, i hope that you enjoyed as much as i did can't say fairer than that <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.